everybody, I'm Lily Nova and welcome to my channel. The last time that I posted an actual YouTube video was the day that I returned from the Secret Space Program Conference. The day after I returned, I had an accident and had a concussion. I've still been doing the Sunday live activations, but I will have more content coming soon. And I just wanted to share some updates with you guys and let you know kind of what's going on, what's in the works, and share some recent interactions with star beings that I've had. So after going to the Secret Space Program conference, I felt something stirring within me and something activating within me. And whenever I had that concussion, I knew that it was marking a new chapter and things were about to change. There was a speaker at the conference who mentioned how she had gotten into an accident and got a bad concussion. And then after that, as she was meditating, all of these memories and connections, cosmic connections began coming back to her, which I just found very fascinating and ironic that I got a concussion the day after I returned. So I've been resting a lot the past month and I've actually been seeing new ETs, beings that I've never interacted with before. They came to visit me a couple weekends ago and the first one that I saw was a being with different colored skin and bigger eyes, not a gray, but something kind of similar, not as human looking. And he was a scientist and was consulting me, telling me that I was doing okay and told me that he was activating my DNA. I then saw a Pleiadian man and felt immense love in my heart. These new beings that I'm communicating with are part of the Galactic Federation, which is a federation of worlds, all of these different types of ET beings that helps bring peace and harmony into the galaxy. And they are working very closely with a lot of star seeds on Earth right now and just keeping an eye on Earth and helping from the outside while we are doing the inside work. These beings then told me, again, that they were activating my DNA. That whole week, they were sending me telepathic visions of my DNA being activated. And there was one night where I saw them and they said that they were testing my psychic abilities. So with DNA activation, it is so important. That is one of the big things that the star beings are pushing and helping me to channel to help you guys upgrade and activate your DNA as well. Scientists say that we have 97% junk DNA that doesn't appear to be doing anything, when in reality, this DNA is multidimensional DNA that has come from different ET races that we can actually activate. And as we activate this DNA, we begin to develop more gifts. We begin to live up more to our full potential. Reality changes around us and things just become more magical. You begin remembering more of who you truly are and letting your authentic self and your authentic light shine through. So it's very transformative, very healing. And as we activate everyone's DNA, there will be no stopping us. I worked closely with the star beings before this. All last summer in activating my DNA, I would close my eyes and I saw the Pleiadians, a group of Pleiadians. Then they showed me my DNA, this strand of DNA. It began lighting up and they told me that they were activating my DNA. So I began meditating with them, meeting them to activate my DNA daily. And I worked on this heavily for two months. And since the concussion and since these newer, new ETs have been coming to me, they are activating my DNA again. So I'm very excited for this and can't wait to see how it unfolds. I'm already feeling major effects and seeing major results. It is also coming through in the Sunday live activations that I do because I'm channeling those frequencies, channeling those star beings and those light codes, and people have been having profound experiences from the live activations, which is basically we just get together as a group, we set the intention, we connect with our cosmic family, with maybe specific beings, and ask for assistance in activating and healing, and we do energy work, we meditate for a minute and it's really powerful whenever you get together in a group and set that intention together and work towards a common goal. 
people have been having tingly sensations in their crown chakra and other chakras. They've been having profound experiences and big breakthroughs, which is super exciting. After the Arcturian healing meditation we did, which is a very, very powerful activation, by the way. They are healing masters. They are among the most advanced beings in our galaxy, amazing benevolent beings. I guided this activation and healing meditation along with the Arcturians, and then I saw them for four days after the live activation. And somebody actually reached out to me and emailed me to tell me that after the Arcturian activation, a blue orb had manifested in their house, like a blue orb UFO. They had a close encounter in their own house. Often Arcturians can come as blue orbs. So I know that this man was visited by the Arcturians right in his very home, which is super exciting. So people are having very transformative experiences with this, and they're also having contact with extraterrestrials and UFOs from these live activations. They are every Sunday at two o'clock p.m. Central. I leave them up afterwards, so if you can't join live, definitely you can join in on the replay. The power is still there, the energy is still there, so you will still benefit from it. Lately, we have been connecting with specific beings on the Sunday activation. So we've done the Syrians, we have done the Lyrans, we have done the Arcturians, and then this weekend we are doing the Andromedans, calling in the Andromedans to assist us with activation and healing. So I'm very excited about that. I'll leave a link in the description for this Sunday's Andromeda activation. Even if you are not an Andromeda star seed or a Syrian or Arcturian star seed, you will still benefit from these activations, but especially if you do already have a cosmic connection with these beings, it will strengthen that connection with your cosmic origins. So since these new beings have been visiting me and have been working on activating my DNA again, they have given me the green light to create DNA activation kits. So I'm about to start working on those where I will be channeling and doing a ceremony, doing a deep guided meditation and it'll include other resources that will activate your DNA. So keep an eye out for those. I'm very, very excited for those. I've been envisioning them and dreaming of them for the past year since all of this started, really. And like I said, as our DNA activates, the whole world changes, our whole reality changes, and it's going to be a huge part of our evolution. We will be able to tap into this previously untapped potential that we all have. Besides the DNA activation, another thing that has been coming up lately is the heart. Focusing on your heart space. The heart is a portal for you to connect with the divine and connect with these higher dimensional beings, these ETs. And so it's very important. And also we often have a hurt heart. We may close it off. So in doing my Star Origins readings and sessions with people, I'm finding that a lot of the messages I'm getting are on opening the heart and healing the heart, focusing on the heart space. So I will have some heart opening exercises coming soon as well. It is also my birthday this weekend, June 18th. I am a Gemini, <laughs> so I'm super excited about that. If you would like to donate a gift or donate towards a new mic for the Sunday live activations and for the DNA activation kits for a more immersive experience, there will be a donate button in the link in the description now. This weekend, I am also doing a contest for everybody who has been attending the lives. I've entered their name into a drawing, and this Sunday on June 19th, I will be calling out the winner who wins either a Star Origins reading or Starseed merch. I know I'll be doing another contest sometime in the future, as these lives uh, continue growing momentum. My goal is to have 1,000 people in their live. All we need is 1% of the population to meditate, and that will be enough to shift the entire globe. It'll be enough to help awaken the entire globe. So that's my goal. <laughs> I was also thinking about adding interviews on my channel with other people who can help on your spiritual journey or about UFOs, any, you know, star being star seed topics like that. Let me know what you guys think of 
doing interviews. I'm actually doing a hypnosis session next week, a quantum healing hypnosis session to go deeper in to recall deep memories and tap into my higher self, really, which I already do with my readings and during meditation, I already do that. But a quantum healing hypnosis session really goes in deep. So a lot of people use that to either remember things, maybe things that have been blocked out of their consciousness. You can remember past lives. You get guidance straight from your higher self, possibly other beings you are connected with. People have used it to quit smoking, to lose weight, to for spontaneous healings. So it's very, very powerful. And I will be documenting my experience and what I find and be posting a YouTube video on that here soon. So I'm super excited about that. And I may have Patricia with the Keystone channel on to, that's who's doing the hypnosis session, on to describe more about hypnosis, the benefits of it, and just tell us more about it because I find it fascinating. So let me know what you guys think of adding interviews occasionally on the channel. Also for anybody new or who is interested in communicating with ETs or initiating contact with UFOs or CE5, I made a how to make contact with UFOs slash CE5 and my CE5 story video on my channel. I'll put it up here. It goes through my process and gives you tips. It shares a little bit of my footage and my story. A lot of people have been contacting me, asking me about CE5, and I made that video for you guys to you know sum everything up. So it's a really great resource. Also, I would suggest my three keys to connect meditation slash CE5 practice, which takes you through three key things that the star beings have taught me in a 10 minute exercise. So it doesn't take long, but this is something that I do daily to cleanse out my energy because we can be like sponges absorbing chaos or you know things that we don't want around us. So it takes you through cleansing your energy. It takes you through connecting with the divine, your higher self and or your star family and also making sure you have a protective energy barrier around you so that your energy is not disturbed by any chaos or anything going on around you. It's a very, very powerful exercise and something that I do daily. So that video will be right here. I'll also link it in the description. I have also added Starseed Coaching, which I'm super excited about. Pick my brain about anything, get guidance, support, and coaching on either CE5 or star seed awakening, star beings, UFOs, whatever I can help you with. So I'm now offering coaching and consulting sessions. You can find that in my link tree in the description. I also wanted to add with the DNA activation and the things that have been going on lately, I had three calls this week where two of them were coaching calls. One of them was a star origins reading where as soon as I started talking, their hands began tingling and they began feeling this energy, this surge of energy. And somebody reached out to me even days later and said that she still felt that energy. So these sessions are very powerful because I am channeling the this energy, I'm channeling these frequencies and this energy to you. It's just amazing how the star beings have been activating my DNA even more and seeing firsthand the powerful impacts it has on me and even others. So it's very, very activating. So I'm just excited to uh, see where it goes. A lot of people have been asking me about dreams. So I also wanted to add briefly that if you have a dream with ETs or a UFO in it, that is for a purpose. There is some message or some information in there for you. That is one way that star beings can communicate with us as well as our guides and source through our dreams. In our dream state, we are very close to higher realms. We are, you know, unconscious. We are, are close to, closer to source, really, while in that deeper state. And they're more easily able to send us messages and information. So if you have a dream about star beings, ETs, or being in a, a different place, and it feels important or feels odd, then it is, and they may be communicating with you. You can have memories from past lives, memories from childhood, 
your star family can visit you in your dreams and you can also receive messages and guidance. So if you'd like to try it out, tonight before bed you can set the intention and ask for a sign or a message in your dreams and see what happens. Let me know in the comments how that goes. They can also communicate through signs and synchronicities or symbols or sudden ideas, inspiration, or knowledge or what they call downloads. So I just wanted to add, even if you don't see these beings around you or see these star beings, these guides, even angels, just because you don't see them doesn't mean that they are not there and conveying information, inspiration, and ideas to you. So if you get a sudden idea, inspiration, or just a download of wisdom, don't take it for granted. Listen to it. It is them conveying something to you. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope to see you on Sunday at the live activation. And I just wanted to thank you guys. The Sunday lives are growing momentum and I'm just super excited. Let me know what you guys think and uh, I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, hit the notification bell. See you later, star brothers and sisters.